Hello, everybody. It is January 2nd. This is JC with JC's Adventures, and how are you doing today? Like I told you guys, this year is going to be a whole lot different in some of the videos that we do because I'm going to educate you to why Jayco really is the best travel trailer out there for the money. We have several different makes with Jayco in the travel trailer scent. We have the J Flight, we have the J Feather, we have the White Hawk, we have the Eagle, and those are all the trailers that we have. There's a different price point and a different weight for each one. You have single axles and you have dual axles. Today, what I'm gonna do is just focus on what makes a J-Flight a J-Flight. We're gonna focus on the outside and some of the, some of the framework of what makes this to give you guys an idea of what you're looking at. Okay, so let's start off with why you would choose a J-Flight. <clears throat> Number one, if you're not in an area where you have really harsh conditions, the corrugated's fine. A lot of people wonder, what's the difference between a corrugated and a vacuum bond? And as you take a look, that's a J feather and that's a vacuum bonded wall, it's a fiberglass. We'll get into more details of that later. The number one difference between the J flight and the other makes is this is a wood-based frame. So everything in this, I mean, you do have metal and you do have the, the glues and the things like that, but this is a wood frame box. The corrugated goes on the outside. Now, some people are like, well, you know, I'm in harsher conditions. I deal with hail or something like that. Well, the J flight is perfect for that if you're around hail, because instead of having to replace your trailer every time, you literally only need to replace the corrugated aspect of the siding. Because again, you guys, this is something that's made to really take a beating. If you're moving up from a tent if you're moving up from a pop-up or you're just replacing another trailer, these are perfect. Jayco only uses a two-year warranty. So you're not sacrificing anything at all by going with a wood frame as opposed to an aluminum frame. And a lot of people think, oh, aluminum must be better. Not necessarily. Not that it's not better, not that it's not worse. It's simply different. So the aspect is you want to get what you enjoy doing. Now, we're going to start with our roof. And as you can see, it's got a slight curve to it. The reason for that is Jayco uses a Magnum Truss roof system, and you're going to hear me talk about that in every video. And literally, we have frames that are built just like this that go the entire length of our coach. They have um, rails on both sides of them, nail rails, that you go in to bind them. That's what gives us that extra weight capacity. Everybody could do that. Most manufacturers, actually none of the other manufacturers do it. Everything is, is a price point for them. How can I maximize my cost? Jayco's not interested in that. What Jayco's interested in doing is putting the best trailer out there for the money. So except for our single axles, all of our J flights have the Magnum truss roof system all the way back and then tongue and groove plywood, both in the ceiling and on the floor. So again, giving you a better stable as far as insulation, quietness, just making you feel more sound. Now, the integrated A-frame. Here's where ma what makes that interesting. Every one of our chassis is built specifically for the floor plan that is. So uh, every other manufacturer just says, hey, give me a chassis. And then they stick their floor plans on it. The reason that we do it separately is because if you look up underneath, and I don't think you're gonna be able to see it, but if you could, along the outside, you have extra outriggers. You have um, an outriggers or simply what this wall fastens to on that chassis. We also have better, more subframes along throughout our coach, giving you, again, giving you more stability. It's Goodyear tires. Goodyear tires come with a six year warranty. They have an 87 mile an hour speed rating. Now, are you gonna do 87 miles an hour? Probably not, although a couple of you are like, yeah, I am. I don't recommend it, but you can. Again, the overall availability is because Goodyear backs that tire as well. Along with this, again, on the dual axles, you're always gonna see two propane tanks it'll either be 20s or 30s this is the 30 and then of course you have your power tongue now all of the 23s are coming with solar they're going to come with 190 watts of solar but again that's more chassis build as far as the different floor plans you're looking at today what i want to show you is what makes the j flight the j flight so as you come into our storage area again you have magnets that are built in they are pre-wired for side and rear cameras but take a look here see how this is all built Again, you guys, that's real plywood. They're not shortcutting it. Look here, look under the bed. And, and, and when you're looking at a trailer, what separates us from everybody else? Why would you want to go to a Jayco? Our roof, our warranty, our A-frame, or excuse me, our integrated A-frame, our tires, and last but not least, all of our axles come with never adjust brakes. What that means, you're going to have a brake controller inside of your rig, 
but you don't have to worry about adjusting these brakes. It's already done for you. Now, on this one, you have the fold-in stairs, but you're always, always, always going to get the fold upstairs. So in your main door frame, this simply comes up, parks inside. So if you're on a single door unit, these are the type of stairs that you're gonna get, and they lock in. So again, you don't have to worry about that. Maybe you have to worry about opening the door, though, right? Now, you have two different packages with the J-Flight. You have the standard, and then we do a lot of Baja. Baja gives you flipped axles and off-road tires, and that's why you're seeing that big clearance there. You also always have a power awning and outside speakers in G20 tint. The reason that we do a thicker tint or a heavier tint is inside a lot of the older ones, you're gonna see that washout on the upholstery where it kind of, kind of frays. We use a different material for that anyway, but it also keeps it cooler. So again, maximizing where you're at with it. Our roofs are, are set up with a Dicor 3. So again, giving you the control. Now I'm not, the J Flight actually doesn't, but some of the other ones do, so I'm getting ahead of myself. Again, full size spare tire. Because our roof is a 4,500 pound limit, it is walkable. So these ladders can go up so you can do maintenance. Again, we always use the reverse lights inside of our inside of our tail lights. So again, you have that. A lot of other trailers don't, you guys. And then again, as you're coming down, let me come down here and I'll show you. Underneath here, if you can take a look, there's actually stainless steel. Now, here's what's interesting about that. When we first learned about this, everybody's like, when we went to the class, they're like, oh, so, you know, why do we do that? Blow out, blow out. And the guy's like, okay, sure. No. What that's for is how many rocks do you take when you're driving down the road? And you guys, we've all been off-road. <laughs> those rocks are going up. Well, if you don't have that stainless steel, that means the underbelly of your trailer is getting rocked up and chipped. And eventually that's gonna have to be repaired. With the stainless steel, that is already taken care of for you. Again, we are talking about the wood. No matter where you go, you guys, you're gonna see a plywood. And again, those are screwed in. You're never gonna see staples. You're never gonna see glue. Here you have the outside shower which is on all, all of our J flights, except for our single axle small ones. Again, we are only using 60,000 um, on-demand water heaters. Why that's important, you guys. Think about this. Everybody wants on-demand because they want to have to worry about their hot water. Well, the industry standard right now is 42,000. One of our vendors said, we're not going to make it. And they, they, so the other manufacturer said, well, if you don't make it, we're not buying from you. Jayco doesn't do that. We use a 60,000 BTU. Now, why is that important? Well, the average groundwater is 54 degrees. If I'm raising it 42 degrees, I'm at 96. Well, the average body temperature is 98.6. That's a cold shower. If I'm raising it 60 degrees, now I'm at 106. And I'm at 106, you do the math, right? Now, all of a sudden, I'm or actually, well, anyway, 60 plus 54, 104, off by two degrees. It's the second, for goodness sakes. Anyway, so, but now you're actually taking a hot shower. So think about it, you guys, when you're going out, what's important? You wanna make sure that you have creature features. You wanna make sure that you're safe. And that's what Jayco's really taking the extra step in doing. And again, forgive my math. Again, you have the outside shower, but here, this is one of my favorite things that Jayco does. And you're gonna see this on all of them. We actually have a black tank flush. Now, for those of you that have been using RVs for a long time, you're used to sticking a wand down the toilet to flush out that black tank. With this, you simply hook a hose up and it's gonna wash that out. Again, you guys, different weights for different ones. You have to pay attention to what your tow capacity is. And we'll do a different video on why that matters and what's important. You wanna make sure that you're staying a minimum of a thousand pounds under your max weight. Now, some people will press that on a single axle, but you just wanna be cognizant of it because you're the one who has to take control of yours. And again, this is just the other side because you're gonna have a pass through on most of the J flights. So again, you guys, as you take a look, we have J flights forever. We are a Jayco exclusive dealer. So depending on what floor plan you're looking for, depending on what you're trying to do, we have it for you. Contact me, 602-860-3860. Again, my name is JC, JC's Adventures. I hope you got the information on the J flight and enjoyed it. Oh, one last thing. 
This is a true diamond plate. This is metal. This is not plastic. It's not made for look. It's actually made to keep those rocks away. I hope you have a fantastic time RVing and a wonderful 2023. Take care.